action. Take one. Hey, <laughs> oh man, we're here. I didn't know you were watching me. I'm glad you tuned in. Want to bless you with a word from the Lord, not the Reader's Digest or Time Magazine. <laughs> God's word, the good news. Yeah, this is me, Sammy D. It's not John Wayne. Definitely not Roy Rogers. Just got my uh, low rider. Feeling comfortable in the comfort of my car. But on a serious note, we here in the United States of America, the land that God has blessed, freedom, land of the brave and the free, home of the brave and the land of the free. Listen to me. We need to pray. I see and I hear and I read on social medias, mainly Facebook and YouTube, all the comments that people make about our government or the president's decision to protect our country or was it to try to gain more votes, whatever it is. We should not be, or this is not a time to be criticizing, pointing fingers, or applauding, or anything like that. This is a time to pray. I would dare say it's always a time to pray. I remember when 9-11 hit, that terrible, horrible day, and weeks that followed. When that happened, Americans came together. I know here in New York where I'm from, and I've saw on the news from other states, in the United States, they were driving in their cars and putting up their American flag. I had my flag on my car, and I was greeting people I didn't even know. Bless America. We were Americans shaking hands. Churches were packed. People were coming out to pray. They were coming out to seek the face of God. Unfortunately, sometimes a crisis like that is what brings us together. And it shouldn't always be like that. The ideal is that we should come together. Before crisis, seek the face of God. During and after. Continue. And I just want to pray. I don't want to talk about whose decision, right or wrong decision. I want to pray. Because I know that our world, now I'm not into just the United States. I'm into the planet. God created this world. <laughs> and it's his. Uh, you didn't know that, right? It's God's planet. It belongs to him. Everything belongs to him. The next breath you and I take belongs to him. So I'm not into just America. I love America. I'm born here. It's my country. But I love the planet. It's God's world. And we should love the world, whether it's in the Middle East or here, in the North, South, anywhere, or the West. We should love this planet and love people. People are hurting. People are suffering. This is not new. This happened ever since Adam sinned. We know that. Those that know your Bible, you know that. Sin into the, into the world. And we've had trouble since. I'm praying for people. All over the world, in the west, east, north, and south, we want to pray. You thought I said play. No, pray. Pray. Talk to God. That's what he told us to do. Second Chronicles. You haven't read your Bible in a while. You're asking me, what's Chronicles, Sam? What kind of crackers are those? Chronicles is a book in the Bible. Second Chronicles. It talks about the history of Israel. It's life of some of the kings and Solomon particularly. And in 2 Chronicles, we know the scripture well. You can quote it to me. 714, if my people which are called by my name. God's people called by his name. He says, if you humble yourself, you pray, turn from your wicked ways, seek my face. Then I will hear and heal. God wants to heal this land. And I want to pray that God will correct, direct, and protect America. Starting in the White House. Correct, protect, and direct. And I know some things about prayer. I know, number one, that prayer brings the presence of God. 
You need to think about that for a minute. Our prayer brings down the presence of God or brings it out of us because he lives in us. I'd rather say it that way. Prayer brings God's presence into our environment, surroundings, atmosphere. It brings God's presence. And let me tell you something in case you didn't know this. I need to take my hat off for this one. If you don't know this, let me be the first to tell you. God, watch this now. God and the devil, evil, principalities, the powers and authority in that place cannot be in the same place together. Check your theology out. If you turn on the light, darkness has to leave. When God shows up, whatever it is that is not of him has to go. Demons, devils, warlocks, witches, anything that is contrary to God's purpose or can't stand God's light, they have to go. So the devil, you didn't hear this from anyone else. You heard it here first. The devil is no match for God. I saw one thing on our Facebook. I rebuked it. I saw, it was more like an image, a cartoon, where the devil, somebody dressed like whatever he looks like. He had horns and he was red and had a pitchfork. The devil was arm wrestling with God. That's, that's ridiculous. There's no arm wrestling. God's not going to arm wrestle with the devil or anyone. All he has to do is look down and you're gone or just blow his nostril and you're out of here as gross as that may seem bible says it in psalm that fire and smoke comes out of his nostril oh, don't get him upset so there is no match he's been defeated the devil the first promise was in first book of the bible by paul by excuse me moses genesis he gave a promise in the first few chapters. He said that the woman's seed is going to crush the serpent, the devil himself. And Jesus, the Bible says that he rendered him powerless, made of him a public spectacle. I like to say that. Let's say it one more time. Made of him a public spectacle. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. And he's under our feet. So we've got more power. He's got no power over us. When God comes down is because you and I have been praying in your church, in your home, in your mobile, wherever. When you start praying, God's presence comes to you and he surrounds you like a sea and the devil has to flee. I think that rhymes. You will write that one down. He surrounds you like a sea and the devil's got to flee. That's the first thing we see. Prayer invites God's presence and prayer then invites God's power. The more you pray, the more power you get, spiritual power. It's like going to the gym. I like to work out. You like to work out? Well, you should know this. When you work out, you, you develop muscles, power, your body. You get that. You eat right. You work out. You, you're going to look tremendo vaquero. You're going to look all right. You're going to look healthy. Prayer brings the power of God into your life. And we, my friend, need God's power in these days because of what's going on in our world today. I rebuke anything or anyone that is coming against the United States, any missile, any type of uh, uh, modern theology or technology, rather, that's going to be uh, guided or geared or directed to do the United States harm. I come against it, and you and I as believers shall pray against that, and we should take a stand, not just by protesting and, and trying to make comments on Facebook, get on your face, and start seeking God and pray that God will give wisdom to the leaders of this nation, particularly the President of the United States, yeah, Donald Trump, and that God will give guidance and that God will protect every city in the United States of America and throughout the world that there'll be peace uh, and I understand that there will be no peace until Jesus comes the Prince of Peace uh, but in the meantime he told us to pray uh, so we're going to pray as if it was, it was happening it's going to happen so when you pray you bring down the presence of God into your life uh, and everything else has to leave mm -hmm. sickness has to leave God will heal you uh, poverty has to leave God will increase uh, your earnings uh, God will bless you. God will bless your family and your home. Wow, because that's what he does. That's what he wants to do. That's what he 
He specializes in blessing us. If he didn't, he didn't have to send Jesus. Uh, he could have kept himself up in heaven and said, y'all going nowhere, man. I'm not dying for y'all. But he did. And if he sent his best, he'll do the rest. So pray, my friend, that God will descend in his power and surround you. Hallelujah. With all the power and all the hosts of heaven so that the devil and demons and devils and evil and wickedness has to flee out of your life and out of your surroundings, your family, your home, your church, and your community. I believe this. And then prayer brings the power of God. They say that seven days without prayer makes one week. W-E-A-K. Weak. Not weak. W-E-E-K. Makes you weak. You want power? Get into prayer. I don't know how much time. Sometimes I pray 15 minutes. Sometimes I pray five hours. It depends. My schedule. But I pray. I got to pray. I got to talk to God. Not because I'm more spiritual. Because I'm more of a sinner. I don't pray and seek the Lord. I know what I'm capable of doing. Got the potential to be a dirty, low-down sinner. I need to come to God. Stay close to Him. I can walk in His righteousness, His holiness. So prayer brings down presence of God, brings down the power of God, then it will develop and it will reveal to you the purposes of God. Excuse me. God's purpose. God has a purpose for your life. God has a purpose for my life. God has a purpose in everything that happens to us. There's a purpose in it. Seek God. God will reveal to you his purpose. I want to live a purposeful life. I don't just want to get up in the day. scooby dooby doo scarabadi What's going on here? Who's next? Who's on first? Who's on second? I want to live with a purpose. I want to know that. I'm doing something because it's going to reveal and develop God's purpose in my life. And then I can share it with others. And I can walk in the purpose of God. I can walk in the spirit of God. I can walk in the word of the word of God. In the will of God. In the ways of God. Mm -mm. So the only way I can get that is as, as I pray. God reveals his purpose to me. As I keep walking. As I trust him. By faith in God. God reveals his purpose. So I'm expecting the power, the presence, and the purpose of God. So, Father, I pray for the United States of America particularly. I want to start by praying at home. I pray that you will give this president wisdom and guide him, give him conviction in his heart to turn to you, Lord, to turn and seek your face. I pray that you protect the United States, every corner, every inch, every mile, every area of the United States, every state of the United States. Protect it, protect the home, the citizens. My God, let your word, oh God, take residence in our heart that we may not sin against you, that we repent from our sins and turn to you, that we believe that you will heal the land so I am praying for the USA of America. Every politician, every person, every child, every little boy and girl, every wife, every husband, every teacher, every pastor, every preacher. My God, I pray for protection throughout this nation. I heard about a man in England. Uh, he used to pray when he was in the 1800s. And he used to pray, God give me England or give me death. Uh, history says that the Queen of England feared more the prayers of this preacher than she did the opposing armies of the enemies. Why? Because prayer has power and prayer will bring results into our lives. Uh, so I am standing in the gap for the United States of America and I am praying instead of writing and criticizing and pointing fingers uh, and hating, I'm just going to pray my God protect us. Uh, don't allow any missile, don't allow anything to come our way and to hurt us. Uh, my God, give us the strength, uh, the energy to walk uh, in your strength and in your power. And now I won't pray for the world. I want to pray for Australia that's going through some burning and some experiences out there. Millions and thousands of uh, land uh, has been burned and people killed. Uh, I pray for that country, Lord, that you will uh, breathe life into them, that you will bring something good out of this tragedy. I pray for the West. Uh, I pray for the East, the South, the North, uh, the, throughout this land. Mm -hmm. My God, I'm standing in the gap uh, and I'm praying uh, for people 
everywhere here in New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Connecticut, Boston, England. I pray for Europe, for Africa. I pray for the Middle East, for China, for Asia, for South Central America. The prayer of a righteous man, a woman, prevails and avails much. So I pray and send a word of hope to people, the hope of glory, Jesus, the anchor of hope, the helmet of hope, the helmet of salvation. I breathe life into people. Hey! And I pray that the churches will arise and begin to pray and cry out to God that we be a nation known for our prayers. We'll be a nation known for seeking God. We'll be a people known for turning to God, walking with God, living by the word of God and the principles and the commandments and the values of God. So I pray right now, Jesus, I know that the heavens are open, that my prayers are effective is getting to God. The devil hears it too down in hell and they flee. Why? Because God's presence is in the house and he will move and do great and mighty things. Hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord somebody? Hey, hey, hallelujah. Is that all right? You don't mind, do you? <laughs> Woo! In Jesus' name, I pray. En el nombre de Jesús, yo oro por esta nación, las naciones del mundo, para que la gloria de Dios se refleje en nosotros, cristianos. Dios te bendiga. God bless you. Okay? Love you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Woo! Hey! I'll drink to that too.